Hello, my name is John Cummings. I'm the host of Inside Westwood, and with us today is Chief Deckers. Chief, thank you very much for coming down. Oh, it's a pleasure. I'm always yeah. welcome to come down and chat and, and publicize public safety. We're, it's a, we're lucky to have you here. Thank you. Um, I know the winter is gone. We've got our first storm that we had a, almost a foot and a half. And one of the concerns is making sure the fire hydrants are clear. Right. So I'm glad you were able to ask me down today for that because we have a new program that we've started just this year uh, called Adopt a Hydrant. And what that does is uh, has a website where you can actually log on and adopt your very own hydrant. Could be the hydrant next to you, could be the hydrant on your property, could be a neighbor's um, hydrant. The beauty of the program is it's assigned to you. You're committing to getting it shoveled, keeping it clear during the winter of snow and ice. And the best thing is you can actually name it. You uh, can name it anything you want? Anything you want. And one of uh, the folks actually named um, her hydrant Flow. Fl oh, yeah. that's all right. That's, that's clever. Yeah, that's clever. That's clever. So once you adopt a hydrant, I, I met you go online, you adopt it, say that you'll take care of the hydrant, make it sure it's clear of Correct. debris and snow. Um, and ideally the, in the winter is to make sure it's clear of snow. How much area do you have to clear? What we um, preach basically is that we need about three feet to connect to that hydrant. So if we can clear three feet around, and then a path out to the road, because that's where basically our firefighters are going to get off the truck, get to the hydrant, but then we need some place for that hose, that big four-inch hose that we use to connect to the hydrant, then connect it to the fire truck. We need a place for that to go, where if, if it's too steep, it goes up and around, it's difficult to get to. So if we can put it in that uh, pathway that you've created, that would be the best uh, solution for us if you can do that. Right. But rest assured, our firefighters will find the hydrant. Uh, we would prefer not to shovel a hydrant because seconds matter, uh, seconds when, it, matter. When, it, when it comes to fires. And since we have a, a limited amount of staff um, on duty here in town, um, it's important that we utilize those resources efficiently and effectively, and that's by putting the fire out. Well, so we want job them is to put the fire out, not necessarily not, the shovel. So to any shovel help you hydrants. get from the friends and neighbors of Westwood. We would greatly appreciate all that help. So once Flo's owner has, or adopted parent, takes care of Flo, what is uh, the owner supposed to do at that point? Um, if you're fully using the app, um, the IT department here in town actually built this app so it's somewhat interactive. So she can go back online, easy, click on, on the link, it brings it up, she finds her hydrant, she finds Flo, and then she clicks on Flo and it will say, what do you want to do? You just click that it's clear, and then on the website, once the website refreshes, flow becomes blue. So then we can see that in real time, uh, while we're out shoveling uh, roads, that that hydrant's been done. Because we've adopted um, about a third of the hydrants in town, about 225 hydrants. The fire department clears ourselves. Okay. We just don't have the staffing after a storm to do all 625 plus or minus. You must take care of like the very busy. We do. So what we do is we handle all the major roadways such as High Street, Gay Street, Washington Street, University Ave, Manhattan. Uh, that doesn't stop any of those people that live on those roads from coming out and helping us still. But we, made, we make a presence there um, to ensure that those get shoveled because we have the big fire trucks uh, with lights and everything that we'll put out so you make to it protect safe the snow, our, everybody removing the snow. Right, to protect <clears throat> our shovelers um, so that they can get those hydrants clear. All right, so I usually clear out the hydrant in front of me and the one next door to my neighbor. Sure. And, <clears throat> which is great, but I, it, and I will after this, I'll make sure I go on and let you guys know that it's been cleared. Perfect. So then you'll have it going on. And I know that there's another program you have going in Westwood. It's um, Neighbors Helping Neighbors? Correct. So the Adopt a Hydrant program is actually part of that. Um, the Neighbors Helping Neighbors is a community risk uh, reduction campaign and we look at many different things within town uh, and try to reduce the risk to our residents. Uh, some of those are slips and falls with seniors. We're seeing a lot more slips and falls in the home. So our goal is to partner with local businesses um, and contractors to help uh, with that. And the way we would help is we would do an audit in the home See, maybe there's furniture that needs to be moved or better located so that the, the walking flows are there. But more importantly is put some um, bars 
whether it be near the bed to help you get in and out of bed in like the a showers, handicap accessible, handicap accessible okay. bars. Um, so Not that they're handicapped, but it just makes it easier. Yeah, it makes it absolutely right. it makes it easier to, to stand up if you're a little unsure. Those of our seniors that end up using walkers or other canes or those types of devices, it's always helpful to right. have you something, want something like good that. and sturdy too. Nothing, yeah, absolutely. We don't want people to fall. Uh, we don't mind coming and visiting people and, and socializing, but we don't want to pick people up uh, off the floor that are hurt. Um, so, Chief, how can neighbors help neighbors? Because they're not really trained for any slip and fall. No. So in, in that scenario, what we're looking for is um, for you to check up on your neighbors more frequently than you do. If you normally would see your neighbor come out and grab the mail every single day and then all of a sudden they're not, uh, there's a good chance that person might have slipped and fell earlier in the day and nobody's checking on them. So right. if you go over and you check um, and build those relationships uh, with your neighbors, because when, maybe when they go away, they'll let you know they're leaving. Right. So then you keep an eye on the house. Keep an eye on the house right. and, and those types of things. So it's not just about fire. As much as, you know, as a firefighter, uh, we'd love to say it's all about fire, but it's not. It's about public safety. So it's a twofold program where you're keeping an eye on their home, you're keeping an eye on them, um, and it doesn't have to be a senior, it right. could be anybody. Uh, just get to know your neighbor. So it would be extremely helpful for, for those types of things. But that's how you could help in the slip and fall arena. Um, because a lot of times what happens is we somebody's fallen and they're on the ground for 12 hours because they just can't move. Um, and then it's a much bigger event. After 12 uh, hours of lying After there. 12 hours of lying there. So um, the, the goal really is to, to help with that. Right. I know a couple of times if I'm out moving snow, I might stop by a neighbor so they don't have to come out and I'll, I'll clear their vent. Sure. To make sure those are clear, because that's a... That's a great point, John. Um, one of the things we see now with all this high-efficiency uh, equipment that we're installing in homes um, is the venting doesn't go through the chimney like it used to. Right. Where it used to be super high, no issues, snow never got that high um, here in, in New England. So... Uh, these new systems are right on the outside of your house. Yeah, they're only like three feet off the ground. Three feet off the so ground. So if the roof slides down all the snow. Or we have some windblown drifts, um, they will easily block those. And then you have issues with carbon monoxide uh, building up in the home, um, which can be fatal. Right. So the, the key to that is make sure you remember your vents, clear your vents, um, you know, take a walk around the house. And it's great as a neighbor to... To help that includes your that. dryer, too, if you have a gas dryer. Absolutely. Yeah. Gas dryer, even a regular dryer. Make sure that those vents are cleared um, because, as we know, you know there's dryer fires uh, from oh, yeah. lint buildup and, and all those types of things, too. So we want to make sure those are clear and that you clean your lint out. Oh, you yeah. Um, is there anything else on the, the neighbor helping neighbor? Uh, people can get involved if they want to? How uh, do they mm -hmm. sign up? Right now, if you, if you feel that you have something that you want to uh, spearhead or work with us, because what we're looking for is some partners in the community um, with that. We have a lot of plans down the road um, to initiate, but I've I got to be careful of what I put out there too fast and because uh, it sometimes will cause... You're it, saying that there's room for you to come back again and visit oh, us? Oh, sure. Oh, that would be fantastic. Uh, so we have, we have some things on the horizon um, that are coming up that are going to be exciting, uh, cutting edge and... You know, we occasionally say bleeding edge uh, oh, yeah. changes in the, in, the, in the fire service. So we have some stuff coming down the, uh, the pike. Um, but i got to make sure all my ducks are in a row before I put it out there. I don't want to cause any Fair undue enough. stress. Now, um, just going back to, circling back to the hydrant, how do I go online to sign up to adopt the hydrants that I want to adopt? Uh, so I go to the, the fire state? The, there's, if you go to the uh, website in the, um, the town web page, uh, to the fire department website, there's a direct link um, oh, okay. to the page uh, that you would sign up with uh, on that page and just follow that with any web browser um, and you can connect Excellent. Uh, and, and adopt your own hydrant and give them a name. Well, Chief, I will come up with a very clever name and thank you very much for coming down. Pleasure. Thanks for inviting me. And I just want to say thank you very much. Uh, I don't know if everybody knows, but we had a house fire last year and Chief had just come on as Chief. And they, they saved our house. And within eight months, we were back in uh, because of it, Chief and, and the crew, the, every fireman and, and woman out there. That was awesome. Yeah, well, thank you. I, I work with a bunch of rock stars, so you, we're blessed here in town. We are. We're blessed to have you as well. Thank you. Thank you.